Hey, I'm Skyler. Let's say you used iBooks Author to create a book. It's a really awesome program. I've actually been using it to work on a magazine uh, for photography. And you want to publish it to the iTunes store. It's actually really easy, a lot easier than you think. Although there is one step that people do get hung up on, and I'll address that in this video. In the upper right hand corner of iBooks Author, you'll see Publish. So just click on that, and it brings up this window. Click Continue. OK, it passes the check, and we'll click Continue again. All right, so we have to create an account. If you click this blue link, it'll take you to this page, Your Books. And here it describes the steps you'll have to take. So you sign up, you confirm your account, you download iTunes Producer, and you deliver. This is the part that's tricky. This is the one that, that, that people often stumble over. It's a little bit out of date because you don't actually have to download iTunes Producer. I'm going to switch back to iBooks Author. Install iTunes Producer. It's actually already on your computer in a package, and it will be installed as soon as you complete these steps. So you click Get Started, and you go over here to iTunes Connect. Here you'll have to make a choice. Either you'll make a free books account or a paid books account. Now let's say the book you created today you want to give away for free. You could do that, but if you think you might at some point want to charge money for it or publish another book using the same account and charge money for that, you don't want to create a free account today. Create a paid books account. To do that, you'll have to get a tax ID number. But It'll save you a lot of time in the long run because if you at some point decide that you want to start selling books, you'll have to go through this process again. So think about it carefully. Do I want to make money off of this? Mm, yes. Then create a paid books account. You won't have instant gratification because you'll have to get a tax ID number first, but hey, it might be worth it to you, literally. Once you've done that and gotten your tax ID number, you'll have to verify your iTunes Connect account. Once you've verified your iTunes Connect account, you'll sign in with it here and install iTunes Producer. Then you'll add your version info, create samples, and the samples are the things that you see in the iBook store when you tap on a book. You know how you can swipe through the preview images, it's the same in iTunes or the App Store. Then you'll export your book and it'll be compressed and sent off to the iBook store for sale. Then you can make money off of it or feel better knowing that you've given it away for free. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.